family i got my buddy robert come on the baby just fell asleep i got my beautiful wife and the baby following us the car is ready to go i just stopped at havoc speed i'm here to pick up my nitrous bottles uh, i'm just gonna take the one but let's get the bottle and get on the road crap it's a b if you guys are from our town man this is where i always have my nitrous fill ups where i buy my race fuel spark plugs these are my bad boys perfect all right let's get back on the road race family we're on our way baby Guys, I got the fuel, I got the nitrous. That's it, we're running late like usual. I can never make it to a racetrack on time. This is my boy Robert, one of my best friends growing up. The silver super in the garage is his car. So we gotta get on him to get that thing finished. That car's gonna be a beast, but it's usually tied up with work or traveling and we haven't gotten a lot done to it. But we're about three hours from the racetrack, guys. It's 4 p.m. now. I really wanted to leave around two and beat the rush hour traffic. So hopefully traffic isn't too bad. If we can get there in three hours, that'll put us right around four, seven o'clock. Maybe I'll give the car like an hour or so worth of cool down time. I'll make a pass. By then it'll already be, call it 8.30 or nine. Even if I leave then at nine, I'm not getting back home till one in the morning. And we got the baby with us, my wife. So that's the plan, man. We'll be at the track for two and a half hours, maybe three hours at most. Um, but by the time I take the car in, I let it cool down some from the driving out there. Um, make a pass and head back but nonetheless I haven't driven this car this far I can't even remember the last time I did that so super excited guys so far so good the car drives a hundred percent like stock I always tell you guys that especially now with the AC with the full exhaust it's freaking awesome I love driving this car Man, 
I'm over here looking for a bike, something to keep us entertained and awake, but this is a one lane road each way. Nothing but semi trucks and <laughs> minivans out here. Look at this place. There's cows on the left and the right. Not much going on. So excited to get to the track. family stop for a quick stretch my baby was telling me that Leilani threw M&Ms all over her we didn't want the M&Ms to melt <laughs> and <laughs> turn cracking up her. <laughs> she's good it's all over her chest no she had one that melted. lower that music lower that music I don't want no copyright oh, Lani oh <gasps> okay okay all right no. Yeah, we don't want the M&Ms to melt on her but pants. They already, like, started melting. Oh boy. Oh look. And something. it looked like she's pooped when we get to the racetrack. <laughs> Lani, dame M&Ms a papa. Dame a mi. Tu tienes más ahí? Dale a papa. Dale a papa. Gracias. Lo your last three. <laughs> There's like two. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, there was a nitrous tank in there. We're not gonna use that. I just took my two nitrous bottles this morning to, I actually had Robert take them to that shop that I showed you guys earlier. And he dropped them both off. They both got filled up. I threw the one in the car. So there's one in here now that I'll be using. But that one, I just, I figured might as well fill it up and I'll use it maybe Sunday at Orlando Speed World. This one bottle is in the car now. will be more than enough for today and tomorrow. Um, Bradenton today, PBIR tomorrow. Cruising on the street with the parachute, man. Parachute, the full exhaust, car's driving. Awesome, the windows up. I love that. There she is. You ready? All right, we're back on the road, guys. Guys, we made it to Bradenton Motorsports Park. Um, I thought we were making it late, but I think we made it fairly early. There's still a lot of people coming in through the gates. It's a beautiful sunset back there, guys. I guess these guys have already ran their car. A few of them have like fans in the front trying to cool them back down. Here comes the super. My, bu my buddy Robert's driving it back. We're gonna unload all the crap that we brought in it. Just leave it here in the ground, I guess, next to my wife's car. That's good, hey, Robert, right? that's good. There's a hole right there. The big ass ditch. Here we are, guys. Bradenton Motorsports Park. I got my two beautiful princesses. Lani! Dila hola! Hi! Look at her. You girls both look beautiful. God, am I a lucky guy. I'm here with my best buddy, my buddy Robert. Guys, we're gonna start unloading crap. I brought a fan with me, probably to let the car cool down some. I'll power that to cool the car down. We're bringing out fuel tanks, uh, camera gear. I just captured some pretty cool drone footage. I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, yeah, we're emptying all the crap out of it now. All right, be careful with that one. <laughs> I'm telling her, be careful with all the wiring for the fuel pumps and all the stuff that's back here. But 
getting it ready guys we're gonna take the car now to tech i'll probably i'll probably give the car like i don't know 30 minutes 40 minutes an hour break just kind of run through the tune make sure the tunes where i want it make sure it's ready give some cool down time and then we'll make a pass so let's see what happens guys super excited the drive here was freaking awesome i always knew this car drove amazing although i never really put it to the test i mostly just drive it around my town or 20 30 minutes from home i never really drive this is 175 miles from my house the car oh my god there's a bunch of bugs in the front it'll probably get even worse at night okay you see some bugs there but it drove freaking awesome guys like i said we'll let it cool we'll make a good pass um it's beautiful let's let's go through the goals guys the goals for today i want to make an easy pass maybe when i say easy maybe like don't get me wrong i still want to go fast i'm thinking 850 850 is a goal if i can run an 850 and this car should do that fairly easy if i can click off an 850 and 860 um i would probably just call it a day just save the car start heading back home in a little while because we're hours from home i got the baby with me so we'll probably hang out here for like call it two hours let the car cool for an hour or so make a run hopefully 850 860 um if so we'll hang out for a little longer and then just pack it up and head back um and then tomorrow we'll go to pbir do the same thing i'm not trying to i'm not trying to click off seven second passes um an 850 is more than enough i definitely don't want to go nines that's that's not exciting but See what happens give it some time to cool give it a nice shake down pass and a little later today we'll be back on the road Lonnie! <gasps> does she really <laughs> look at that sunset guys it's tracking beautiful Is the MK5 here today? Nah, it's, we're gonna bring it Saturday. We're doing this, uh, Javier's coming up. We're gonna do some video. I saw the pictures of the big turbo. Is that a thing or? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, I have two. So we have the white one the, and, the and the black one. one. Was it the black one that went? Black one went 10 9, That's just, sick. just a downpipe and a tune. And then the white one, I'll have it hopefully ready for FL2K. Guys, Victor from Come On Induction Performance. This guy's the man. No, FL2K. Nobody, man. FL2K is in. FL2K I keep talking about that. Like 35 days away. Mm hmm. We'll have this out $50,000 in payouts? Yeah. We got the 2JZ Invitational, 10 yes. grand to win. We got a bunch going on, but we got some big boys coming, so don't miss it. I know, them. I saw. I saw. No, we'll be here. I'm actually coming Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm running an RV. I plan on just doing the drag racing. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'll make a pass or so on Saturday and then just race on Sunday. But I'll be out here the whole weekend just showing support and hanging out. Yeah, man, excited, bro. No, let's see some seven. Come on, baby. <laughs> right. Guys, there goes that sunset I was talking about. So it was a beautiful sunset at this track every freaking time. But here we are, Bradenton Motorsports Park. This is gonna be our first of three tracks. This is just my crazy self, man. I've, like I said earlier, I've never driven this car this much. I've put, I told you guys already, 11,000 miles in eight years. So I'm looking to put a thousand miles in the next four days. So let's enjoy the car. I brought a little fan to hopefully cool it down some. Um, the main thing is the transmission, guys. These automatic trainees, they, they don't like heat, so we gotta cool it down. So I'll give it time. Holy crap, it's sticky right there. <laughs> There's VHT that comes off this machine and hits the ground. I almost lost my shoes when I walked through this spot right here. Oh, there goes, there goes the Mark V Supra. Look at that. First, first time I see one out and about. I went to the Detroit Auto Show, so I saw that car when it first debuted to the public. And I didn't like it at all in pictures in person. It has nice body lines and it was a cool car. Um, and it's incredible with all these shops and all these people are doing in such short time. In like about a month's time, they're already down in the tens. That's very impressive. Um, I used to own an, R, an R35 GTR and full bolt-ons, E85. And that's significantly, far more expensive car i went like a 10.5 with better tires would have gone bottom 10s on the stock turbo um so these guys are going 10.9 a month worth of the car being on the road and that's freaking awesome but 
Let's walk around, see what's up, give the car some cool down time, and we'll get in the lanes. Como así? Como así? Como así carro ese? What do you say, for Christmas? No. She's too little still? <laughs> Come on, for Christmas. You can see. Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Check out that awesome toy hauler, guys. I'm not sure what all he had in there, but pretty badass. There's a new Mark V Super here. I want to come check it out in person. Edition. Looks nice. That white's really pretty. Yeah. Oh, he's got the full drag pack. Guys, this is a demon. He's got the drag pack, the drag tires in the back, he's got the skinnies in the front. He's got the demon logo on the supercharger. Awesome. I hate how those skinnies are so tucked in though. Look at that. Looks like damn spare tires. I wish the offset was like flush all the way outside. Check out what? Jack. Yeah. Oh, it, it brings that. <laughs> Robert's showing me the Demon Jack. Come on, you get the D Demon car, you get the whole kit. The whole shebang. Pretty cool. Any Honda fans on this channel? Let me know if you guys are into Hondas. This thing made a good lick earlier. It sounded nice. Guys, I don't know a lot about Hondas, but I can tell this is a probably V18 or V16. This is a K-Series engine. This thing is stripped to the max. Plastic windows. What are those things called? Pine cones? Yeah. Someone's organizing all the pine cones. Pa pa pa. Gracias. Wow. Ma. Gracias. Look at her. Yeah, yeah, that's enough. Bum. Bum wale carro, papa. Bum. Guys, family time over everything, baby. Oh, it's beautiful back there now. We're gonna go racing. 
It's not as fun unless the girls are here. I heard you celebrating. Oh yeah. How'd you do? First time I ever made a hit in this thing. We went uh, 1928 at 70. That's how you start, baby. That's oh, I'm bad. experienced. Yeah. I just never... No, I'm in that car. You gotta oh, make it I... faster? No, I don't care. <laughs> I have a Chevelle. <laughs> <laughs> this is my driver, man. Nice. Fourth pass ever in a stick car. Okay. Yeah. I didn't miss a gear. It was fun. Heck yeah. My circuit. Less than what we normally run. But 
a good pass, guys. I'm happy with it. 870162. I'll take it. Hey! Robert, we took too much power out of it. No, fuck that. I'm, I'm out. <laughs> he says we got to go again. Guys, I just came to have some fun and make it back home. I think the biggest challenge was obviously to put in a thousand miles in three days. I've never done that before, so I don't want to overdo it at the very first track. 870-162. I got the draggy video. I pulled the shoot. You guys saw that? I heard the announcer say it. Yeah. We just stopped to put some gas in the SUV. Um, it's 9.45 now, home is three hours away. So we'll probably get home right around one in the morning. Um, we wanted to get some drinks and get some snacks here at the gas station, but this place is like all closed out. Luckily they had fuel. The whole drive home now, it's extremely dark, so we probably won't do much recording. It's one lay, I'm sorry, one lane each way. Pitch black, guys, check this out. It's dead silence out here, this place is crazy. Um, so we're gonna get going and head back. It was a successful day. We had a lot of fun See you guys soon But man, I'm so so proud of this car the 87 is no big freaking I don't know, no huge accomplishment. But it just drives so nice, it drives so smooth. And it's been a lot of years in the making, a lot of years of hard work to get it to where it's at today. And it's crazy that we got to the track. I did not even look at tire pressure. I didn't check tire the same tire pressure. I drove 175 miles to get to the track. Same tire pressure, same exact tires. I had probably over half a tank of fuel in the car, um, pump E85, so not, not crazy fuel, 17 inch wheels, just a car with AC, a sound system, remote start, like it's, it's got all the amenities. Aside from, I took out the back seat that I don't really care for. I mean, I might put it back in the future, but for now it's tan, so I just took it out. But man, I just, so proud of it. We had to do nothing. We literally got there. On the drive there, I messed with the tune a little bit. When I say mess with the tune, I brought the two-step down. I brought the boost down. I had the nitrous turn off super quick, like midway through first gear. I pretty much just dumbed the car down. I took out significant power out of it. Like I mentioned earlier, that was about 15 pounds of boost less than what we normally run. So we can call that medium boost. Um, yeah, so we turned it down a bunch and went an 870. At 162 miles an hour, 136 to the 60 foot. Man, solid pass for literally driving that far. Just letting it cool down for a little while and giving it its pass. So, could not be more proud of this thing, man. Again, we're not doing a lot of filming on these roads because it's pitch black. There's not much you could really see, but we'll be home soon. Tomorrow I'll run through it, make sure everything is tip top and then get it ready for PBIR tomorrow. So this is gonna be day one of the weekend drag tour. That's what you guys are telling me to call it. Come on, man, the Baltic Super weekend drag tour. So just doing this for fun. Again, I would love to do a drag week in the future, um, but at the same time, maybe in the winter, I'll set something up where we can set something up where all you guys that wanna come out with us and do a, maybe like a Florida drag tour. Just go to like at least three, just a weekend thing. I don't want you guys to have to miss a week, full of, uh, week off of work it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Let's put our cars to the test. Let's go to our three drag strips and have some fun. And the winter will be nice. But day one is down, man. Come on, Robert, give me a thumbs up. That was successful, man. Awesome, awesome pass. I didn't even bother doing the parachute. I just threw it in the back. I barely know how to do it. I, I did it earlier at home watching a YouTube video. So I would have to sit there and watch the video again and make sure I did it right. It was getting late, so I just threw it in the trunk and we got on the road. So let's finish up this drive and make it back to the house.
Thank you.